Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Kakudash. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace, mercy, and blessings unto the whole world. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists. So this just goes to show you the severity Max, but the times that we're in. You know, I'm going to play this video that I found on TikTok, you know. And uh, forgive me, I have to be outside right now I'm on my lunch break. And it's a little windy out, you know. China's building an entire army of military robot dogs. And I wouldn't suggest that you try to pet these things. They're similar to the ones built by Boston Dynamics, but with some key differences. And as you might expect for something made in China, they're cheaper and thus easier to mass produce. Whereas past models tested by the US military were rather slow and sluggish, these Chinese robot dogs are sleek and quick, able to keep pace with an average speed runner. And they've got some tricks up their sleeve as well. They can also maneuver objects with an extendable arm that can be controlled autonomously or remotely. And as they say, everybody gangster till the Chinese robot dog pulls out a lightsaber. China's built. Right, so as you can see, you know, these dogs, you know, they, they, they out here, man. Okay. And the scripture speaks about newly created creatures. You know, let me grab that. Let's get these precepts flowing. This is the Wisdom of Solomon 11 and verse 18. Actually, let me, let me, it looks like I need to start at 10. Okay. Uh, but not 10. But 17. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 17. For in thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, I wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. And this, this, these animals, it says in Amos, as if a man did flee from a bear and a lion met him. You know, these creatures out here, you know, how about Shemiel Shah is going to use them? They're going to get out the zoos. They're going to come from out their natural habitat. And they're going to be used to attack and to pretty much destroy people. You know, this is what Yah about Shemiel Shah is going to do to bring judgment on these wicked ass people. Verse 18, it says, Are unknown wild beasts full of of rage and these animals when they get out they're gonna be full of rage man you know <laughs> they're gonna be on one okay and they, they're gonna be tearing people up old and young okay matter of fact the precept for that is Jeremiah 15 Jeremiah 15 and 1 then said the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, to me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people, no, the Israelites, all right, the Hebrews, okay, and, and all 12 tribes, because this was during the time of Samuel, which is before David, you know, was anointed as king, and we know the kingdom did spread. The, when the Babylonians came down on the southern kingdom, but when you speak about Moses and uh, Samuel during that time, the kingdom hadn't split yet. The kingdom did not split until after Solomon's death. Okay, but this is the book of Jeremiah, and Jeremiah prophesied of Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians come to the uh, to destroy the temple and to uh, you know bring great destruction on our people because they were being wicked. Okay, this it says. Then said the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai unto me. 
though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Meaning what? Get them out the land. Who did the most I used to get them out the land? The Babylonians. Verse 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said Yahweh Shem Shai, Such as are for death to death. Right? So meaning, if you're allotted to, to be slaughtered out here, whether that be by the UN troops, because they out here disguised as migrants, and they're getting ready to be used to combat civil unrest. For what? Where the people are mad about the elections. This is the election year, all right? Uh, this is the year 2024. The hopeful year is Jacob's trouble, man. All right? And it's also the the year the election is going to pop up. You just had the movie Civil War come out. A lot of things are, are happening in the spirit, okay? It says, such as for death to death. So that's what's coming, great death. And such as for the sword to the sword. Pestilence. Many different ways to die. And such as for the famine to the famine, starvation, scarcity of food, lack of bread, okay, lack of water. It says, and such as for the captivity to the captivity, which pretty much goes into what? The uh, the camps and all of that, man. <clears throat> which the Lord, you know, Yah by Shemuel Shai is going to allow that to happen too. It shows you that on that movie, uh, Songbird. Three, and I will appoint over them four kinds, said Yahweh Shem El Shai, power, the sword to slay, where it be the UN troops, the um, martial law troops, you know, your neighbor, okay, and the dogs to tear, wild beasts, and the fowls of the heaven, birds, and the beast of the earth to devour and to destroy it, okay. But now, here in the year 2024, the technology and everything is advanced, things are speeding up. When the age of information, knowledge is increased, right? So now we have newly created creatures, okay? Verse 18, are unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy sense of scattered smoke <laughs> or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes. What does it say? These Chinese robots, they're armed with machine guns, okay? So now Chinese military. country's biggest ever drill alongside Cambodian troops this May. The terrifying robo-dogs armed with machine guns were part of a 15-day military military exercise called Golden Dragon that was held in a remote training center in central Cambodia off the country's coast. At the event, At the event, more than 2,000 troops, including 760 Chinese military personnel, will take part in the drills at a remote training center in central Kampong Chang province and the Sea of Priya Shinook province. Golden Dragon also involves 14 warships, with three warships from China, two helicopters, and 69 armored vehicles and tanks. Additionally, the event will also include live fire anti-terrorism and humanitarian rescue drills. Chinese military personnel showed off robo dogs, which are remote controlled four leg robots with machine guns mounted on their backs. The handlers kept the military robo dogs on the leash and only demonstrated their walking capabilities to watching journalists and top brass. The machine guns were allegedly not fired during the drills. Right, so I believe they may be did you know that Israel has been using Gaza as a testing ground for robot dogs? These highly mobile, agile and semi-automatic robotic dogs are worth $165,000 each. They have multiple sensors that helps them recognise objects and people in low light or at night, laser radar which allows 3D mapping of their surroundings, they operate below and above rubble, can walk through deep puddles, over sand, over bricks and even float. According to Ghost Robotics, the robot dog's purpose is to keep workers, war fighters, and canines out of harm's way. But what about the robotic dog's targets? Does it keep them out of harm's way? This all sounds a little bit like an episode of Black Mirror, right? Season 4, episode 5 to be precise. The show Black Mirror taps into the unease of the modern world and 
and how we are slowly moving towards a dystopian way of living. This episode follows a woman who is trying to escape a murderous robotic dog after the unexplained collapse of human society. These dogs are virtually indestructible, completely automatic, self-charging, shoot trackers into the body of their targets so they can never lose them, and are extremely intelligent. Now, the robotic dogs being used by the IDF are not as advanced as the one in the show and don't seem to be weaponized, but there is still so much uncertainty around this type of warfare. This is not the first time the IDF have used AI and automated targeting systems to assist their surveillance in the Gaza Strip. This type of digital dehumanization reduces people to data points based on characteristics like gender and ethnicity. But the IDF maintains that the use of these AI systems and robotics is to combat Hamas, specifically in underground tunnels, to keep casualties at a minimum on both sides. Stop killer robots, a co- All right, so I'm not gonna play the whole video uh, for time's sake, but again, you know, um, this is the article right here. I'll be sure to post a link in the description box. But now you can see it's not just Moab, it's not just China with robot dogs. There's the least that the flock has them too. All right, they have them here in America. They have robot eater dogs, man, that crave uh, human flesh. Okay, so shit is about to get real. Matter of fact, shit is already real. Okay, this is Matthew 24 and verse 21. For then, and that's talking about the time, okay, shall be great tribulation, such as it was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And now, with the technology and knowledge and being increased, I made this statement okay we're going to need divine intervention okay I'm gonna get one more precept but then I'll have to close this is the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1 and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble okay such as was never since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, now people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So, yeah, time of Jacob's trouble, day like no other, you know, is upon us. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. With that, I'm going to say look into this article. Do your own research. Inshallah.